in this real estate math whiteboard, we're going to calculate the number of potential lots in a subdivision. A common question on the Florida real estate exam is going to ask you to determine the number of lots that a developer can create in a subdivision, or maybe the number of storage bins that can fit into a building. In this video, we're going to show you how to calculate the number of lots question. First, we need to make sure you've committed a couple things to memory from your pre-licensed class. The first one is 43,560. That's the number of square feet in an acre. The next one, 5,280 feet in a mile and three feet in a yard. These are things you're just going to have to memorize for the state exam. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. So now that we've refreshed your memory, let's take a look at a sample exam question. A developer wishes to develop a parcel of land measuring 0.75 miles by 880 yards. Due to local zoning laws, he must set aside 15% of the total land for streets, parks, and other green spaces. How many one-acre home sites can the developer develop on the parcel? I like to list out the facts. What are the things we know? We know the size of the parcel is 0.75 miles by 880 yards. We know that 15% of the parcel must be set aside so that the developer only has 85% available for building of lots. And last but not least, we know that the developer wants one acre lots for his development. So the first step is to convert the miles and yards into feet. We take 0.75 miles, multiply that by 5,280, the number of feet in a mile, that gives us 3,960 feet. We take 880 yards and multiply that by 3, the number of feet in a yard, to get 2,640 feet. Multiply both of those together to get 10,454,400 available square feet. Now, knowing that we only have 85% available for building lots, we take that number and multiply it by 0.85 to give us 8 million 886,240 buildable square feet. Now to determine the number of lots, we know he wants one acre lot, so all we do is divide that number by 43,560 to get 204 available lots. Now it's your turn to practice. Here's your question. A residential zoning category requires at least 10,000 square feet per lot. The developer is reserving 30% of the land for streets, sidewalks, and a community center. The track of land is 125 acres. How many residential lots are available for development? Hit pause now in the video and solve the question. When you have your answer, hit play and we'll solve it together. All right, welcome back. Did you get 381 lots? Uh, that's the answer. Here's how you get there. 125 acres times 43,560 square feet per acre gives me 5,445,000 square feet. I multiply that by 0.7, giving me 3,811,500, and then divide that by the lot size of 10,000 to get 381 lots. Well, that's how you calculate the number of potential lots for a subdivision in a parcel of land. It's pretty simple, and I can almost guarantee you, you'll get this or a building with storage bins question. So check out our storage bin video as well. Any questions, make sure you can email us at help at onebluerealestateschool.com or give us a call at 321-333-5222. And don't forget, you can take classes with us for exam prep, new agent boot camp, pre-license and post-license, and so much more. Learn more about us at onebluerealestateschool.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.